my channel, The JS Explosion. I'm here to do the recap for Sisterhood of Hip Hop Season 2, Episode 2. Let's get into it. The episode is really centered around Naima, Brianna, and Saya. So we start with Naima, and she's been getting good reviews on her performance with Saya. And her manager thinks it'll be great for her to start and do her debut album in LA, New Vibes, New People. So she's dating Mac Wilds. They've been dating for over a year. Mac, they're cute together. Um, I love Mac Wilds. And she talks to her mom, Mac, as well as Funkmaster Flex on what she should do. Should she stay in New York or should she go to LA? And they don't want her to leave. But she finally talks to one of her friends, and her friend gives her that boost to go to L.A. And Saya said that she could stay with her for a while. And when Naima gets to Saya's house, it's like a big party. Okay. Moving on to Miss Brianna Perry. Now, she and her mom have talked to the people at Atlantic, and they're saying, yeah, go hard on your music, just go hard, period. And now they have to go to E-Class, who is the independent label that she signed to. And E-Class said the same thing that the label said, like Lantic said, um, go hard, get better music. He's like, you're giving me good records, but you're not giving me great records. And he wants her to be like Bad Girl Riri, the next Nicki Minaj, talking about nasty stuff and selling sex. But she said that's not her image. And I don't blame her. If you don't want to sell sex, then don't do it. Like, don't try to sell out in order to be popping. So without any of the labels, Brianna and her mom decide they're still going to go to L.A. but live on a budget. And to me, Brianna was acting really spoiled because she's not used to living on a budget and stuff. And her mom gets them like this little cute apartment. I didn't think it was that bad, okay? It was furnished and everything. I didn't think it was that bad. But of course, she's like, oh my goodness, I'm not used to this. But my thing is, put that in your music. The situations that you're going through right now, that is inspiring to someone else. It's showing where you've been and where you're going. And then... Moving on to Saya. Now, Saya is still on the fence about this re-signing with Tank, going with T-Pain. So, she goes to talk to Bia about the situation. And Bia thinks it's all about loyalty. And I agree. Because, I mean, Bia was saying, like, who was with you when you were struggling and you couldn't get your stuff off the ground? It was Tank. But Saya just feels as though Tank should be at every show she has and be behind at her studio sessions and everything. But Tank has his own career. In order for him to continue to help you and put money in your pocket and do stuff like that, he has to grind himself. So eventually she goes to meet with Tank one on one to talk about like what he's gonna do, what's gonna happen, and she shows up late, which means that the time has been cut in half and he has to leave early. And that's what happened in episode two. Follow me on Twitter, what Jules say, comment, what you think about this episode, share and like, and I'll see you later.